Alex Muir, Kennerland Minerals, how are you doing? Good, how are you, Andrew? Doing good, thanks yeah. for coming on. We're at the uh, 2024 Rural Investment Symposium, and uh, what's the vibe you're getting and uh, from the crowd so far? So far, pretty good. Yeah, I mean, we just kicked it off yesterday, and I was kind of surprised at how many people were already cruising around, and uh, yeah, we're pretty excited. Already met some friendly faces that we met actually at the uh, Project Generator Boot Camp with Rick Rule back in April, so it's been a good start. Been a good start. Yeah, yeah. That seems like this is different than a lot of other uh, conferences or symposiums that I've been to. It seems like it got a great energy, if you would, and people are out um, asking questions, which is really nice to see. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk about Kennerland. Tell me about the project. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well. We have a lot of projects. Um, so we're a project generator. Right. Um, we've got over 20 plus projects, uh, mostly in Canada. Um, we do have a couple in Alaska. Yep. But our uh, flagship is the uh, FroTet Project Royalty. We just converted our 20% uh, joint venture interest to a 4% NSR royalty. The FroTet Project is now in the hands of Sumitomo Metal Mining, who we made a discovery at the Renault Gold Deposit back in 2020. Over 100,000 meters have been drilled there. It's a high grade gold system. Um, we just announced last week um, engineering and baseline studies uh, working towards a uh, exploration decline. So we need to finish those studies, acquire the permits, and then uh, a resource will come out sometime in late 2025. And that then Sumitomo will make a decision on uh, building that decline. And I think that'll be a huge catalyst for, for the royalty. You'll you know, send a signal to the market that um, you know, Sumitomo is, is dead serious about building this mine. Excellent. Um, let's talk about the management team here. Um, yeah, tell, tell me about the background of everybody. And uh, Yeah, the, so the, the CEO is Zach Flood. He founded the company along with three other GEOs back in 2016. Um, it was private up until 2020. Um, they went public in 2021. Um, Zach, uh, you, know, you know, grew up in, in mining. His dad was a, was a geologist working with Robert Friedland. So he's been, you know, all around the world to, to a lot of projects. And so he's, you know, kind of the heart and soul of the company. And um, yeah. Yeah. Tell me about your background. So I have a finance background. So I started out at Canaccord, work at the Toronto Stock Exchange. Um, I worked for a small junior. Um, that was kind of my first foray into investor relations. And then I met Zach about a year ago. Um, they were looking for an investor relations person. And, you know, we got along really well. Um, and yeah, CFA charter holder as well too. So I've always kind of been interested in geography and markets and, and all that. And, you know, when, you, when you're in Vancouver, you're always exposed to, to mining so it just seemed like a natural fit to, to come and uh, be in the sector got it tell me about the share structure of the company um and how you're protecting investors like myself yeah um that's one of the biggest questions i always get asked and one of the questions i ask is again as a retail investor yeah how am i not going to be hurt yeah of course yeah um we're i think in a great situation we got about 75 million shares issued at issued an outstanding 84 million um, uh, fully diluted. We have no warrants. Uh, That's a great point, by the way. Yeah, no, no <laughs> warrants. So the last warrants expired in March and those were at 75, 70 or I think it was 70 cents, I believe. Um, and we have no need to finance uh, going forward. I mean, great. We've got, we've got $30 million in cash. So our last raise was in May. We did a strategic investment with Sentara Gold. Um, they came in on the back end of a flow through financing. So none of that paper is going to go hit the market or anything like that. So they're a 9.9% .9 shareholder now. Sumitomo, as I mentioned, um, they have, they're have a 10.1% holder of the company. So that's 20% there. Um, obviously, Rick and, uh, is a shareholder. Uh, Adrian Day Asset Management, Paul Stevens. Um, all the major Quebec funds. So you're looking, and then the guy who wrote the first check, John Tognetti, he's, he hasn't sold a share. He's still a large, he's, he is the largest shareholder of the company. So Really strong hands. Yeah, exactly. So you're left with about you know 28 to 30% you 
in retail. That's and yeah, stock is you know traded a lot more late lately, um, uh -huh. but you can see like that kind of lack of liquidity there because it is a lot of people don't want to sell their stock. They see they believe in the company and and see the potential uh, growth in it. Got it. So what are you guys doing to get the new uh, the word out about the company? Again, that would be concerning to me with the retail investor to get the liquidity, to get the stock up. What are you guys yeah, doing? Yeah, I mean, we don't we don't want to waste too much money on, you know, marketing. So we, you know, we come to stuff like this where, you know, we did the project generator uh, boot camp, which I found was really successful. I've already, as I mentioned, I've already ran into a couple of people who I've had some meetings with um, there. Um, and then, yeah, we use social media, I find, is, is, is quite helpful. So, um, yeah, that's kind of where we're, we're focusing our efforts. Got it. Well, if you would, uh, if people want to reach out to you and find you, and uh, how do they do that? And uh, where do they buy the stock if they're interested in Yeah, company? so they can contact me. Um, my email is amuir at Um you can buy the stock on the TSX Venture under the ticker KLD, or it's also it also trades on the QX under KLDCF. Um, but yeah, we're really easy to get a hold of. You know, we encourage you to reach out and ask questions. Excellent. I'll put all of this in the show notes uh, below the video. I want to thank you so much, Alex. Yeah. We really do appreciate you having me on, and yeah. uh, I'll check in a little bit later at the show. Sounds good. Appreciate it, Andrew. You bet. Take yeah, care. Thank you.